Hello and welcome to the Veracity PDE 2018 Masterclass Preview. What is evident from our um, score reports as well as our uh, student experiences is that there are a few key updates and changes and therefore you must be aware of them if you want to score well on the test. Even though the test has gone higher in terms of difficulty level, there have been upgrades in the scoring pattern as well. But still, you can see that scoring 79 plus is completely doable as long as you are aware of the key strategies and the important scoring points um, and all the sort of um, updated techniques to get that score. Just taking a sample a read aloud question from one of the latest test papers, and we are going to look at uh, what a 79 plus attempt sounds like. Okay, so first I will uh, do the attempt and then I will break it down and I will explain to you why I said it like that and where were uh, the key scoring points, score collecting points. If you do them wrong, then you won't get the score, but if you do them right, then you will get all the points, right? So if you are struggling, um, like we are noticing this trend, um, you know, this trend with a lot of our students that. Uh, even though your enabling skills are high, uh, but you might not be actually getting a 79 plus. So what is happening in in that case? The content or the question uh, attempt itself, you know, there is a problem there. So you really want to pay attention first to how I attempt this question right now, and then I will deconstruct it for you. Uh, so starting, obviously, give yourself 40 seconds, read it in your head, and then the recording begins, and then we start attempting. For the purpose of simplicity, we have not added a timer or a recorder here, just so that you can understand um, what is to be done. Okay, so right now I don't need you to attempt it. I just want you to read the paragraph and pay attention to my voice. Advancing spring phenology constitutes one of the most well-studied and oft-cited examples of ecological response to recent climatic warming. Examples of earlier onset of spring events span a broad array of life history traits and taxonomic groups, including plants, invertebrates, amphibians, birds, and mammals across most of the Earth's biomes. So as you can see, uh, you do not really need to be perfect. Okay, Remember that PTE is all about how close you are to its scoring parameters, right? Okay, so we are going to look at... Um, two key scoring criteria, right? That is your pronunciation and your fluency. And if despite your enabling skills being high or even if they're weak, uh, you know, it, it this um, sort of breakdown is going to help everyone, okay? So this is uh, our analysis based on the question structure, okay? So there's a certain question structure in the read aloud which is, uh, which we call as list type. That means that there is a list there, there uh, you know, and if you read it wrong, if you read it incorrectly, you will lose points there, right? So there are, uh, going to be minimum two questions in the read aloud set which are going to contain lists uh, so make sure that you read them out correctly of course there are going to be academic words that you need to pronounce correctly okay so uh, let, let's look at this so first let's start with the words that are highlighted in red they are the words that are um, generally mispronounced by non-native speakers so uh, phenology ecological climatic array taxonomic right these are the words that you want to check out and practice on because these if you got uh, these words incorrect in terms of their pronunciation then you are losing points there uh, now let's talk about the phrases so there are a few phrases where again additional extra points are hidden and if you actually uh, speak correctly if you get these phrases cor correct then you will not be losing out on those points right so uh, the first phrase that is highlighted in purple color one of the most well studied and oft cited examples this is one phrase what is that example that example that follows right so you cannot be taking a long pause between one and examples right because that entire thing makes a phrase Okay, so one of the most well-studied and oft-cited examples of ecological response to blah, 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 right? So it's like when you are giving meaning, right? So a lot of students don't understand how we convey meaning or what is the rule. The rule is simply that it should make sense, whatever it is that you're reading. So if you are exposing yourself to 
uh, you know, news channels or you are listening to a lot of academic lectures in native like accents, this is something that you will already be familiar with. But if you are not doing that, you know, then it might seem problematic. Look at another uh, phrase that a lot of students messed up on on this particular question. A broad array of life history traits, right? So what are they? The, uh, the array is like a group, right? Okay, like a structured arrangement, right? And that is why also the pronunciation is array and not array because the array comes from arrangement, right? Okay, so that's why, because they are connected, the, that pronunciation is also uh, easy to remember, right? If you remember what that is, right? Uh, because they're from the same family of words. Okay, so looking at that, an array of life, not life, it, it can't be an arrangement of life. It, it can't be, uh, you know, an array of history because there have to be countable things there, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? Like a... Uh, things, right? Stacked one after the another, right? Okay, so uh, life history traits, traits which are features or qualities, right? So if you break it down, now again, this is something which a lot of students are doing, right? So a lot of students, when they read this sentence, they break it down somewhere between there because they think that that is the noun. But the noun here is traits. And therefore, when you read this phrase, examples of earlier onset of spring events span a broad array of life history it's it, it, it doesn't it doesn't fall correctly because you, you take a pause I mean most students who are attempting this they tend to take a pause at life history which is not correct right so um, it's built like that right the test is built like that that in your pre-reading you have to look for these things so that you are getting this correctly okay so array of life history traits and those three words must go fluently together uh, right without any major interruptions the next thing is the list so you have a list which includes a b c d right okay so make sure that it reads like a list do not take a pause uh, and end the list so a lot of times if it's a long list I have noticed that students will tend to pause and it doesn't doesn't even sound like a list. For example, here, uh, somebody uh, had edited the, the paragraph at taxonomic groups, right? Okay, because it's, it's, very, it's a very long sentence. If you look at this entire paragraph, it's actually made up of two long sentences. And the second sentence is from examples till biomes, right? So, but it has to sound like a sentence in your speech, okay? So you can't take a long pause at groups okay because that including means these are the various taxonomic groups right okay so it has to connect your tone has to indicate that it is connected okay and the fifth part of the list which is mammals right it doesn't end at mammals because they are a certain kind of mammals uh, specified as the ones which are across most of earth's biomes right so you have to make sure that uh, you read that phrase correctly and you don't end it at mammals, right? So I'll, I'll give you an example of tone, right? So just a simple example first. If I say that I went to buy oranges, apples, bananas, and pineapples, right? So when I say pineapples, it, it kind of has a tone of finality and you know that the list has ended there, right? Compare it to somebody who reads a list incorrectly. We went to buy apples, oranges, bananas and pineapples and like so you see here that this person just ended it at bananas like he gave that or whatever like I mean I I did it in a way that it might you know um, sound as if the sentence ended there right because of my tone so I give that ending over there right which which is not correct okay so if I have to do this question in a wrong way if I have to show you what not to do right including plants, invertebrates, amphibians, birds, and mammals across most, most of Earth's biomes. This is not to be done because here, what, what is this person doing? You are po you're ending it at mammals. Your tone indicates finality, right, which is not to be done, okay? So you can't end it at life history and you can't end it at mammals. So remember that those, uh, those are the points where your pause is not to be a big pause, right? Okay, so you have to take care of the fluency and the structure uh, of the sentence, right? So PD is actually testing you on this, right? That are you able to bring out the meaning of the sentence, right? So if your enabling skills are high, but you're not getting score, uh, that means that you are, uh, you know, not only getting the 
um, you know the the meaning incorrect, but you are not not able to capture these these sort of uh, score boosting points, right? So wherever there's a list, there's like an extra point jump hidden there. If you nail the list question type, you are really going to get uh, maximum points in your speaking, right? Okay, so let's let's see how the last phrase was to be done, including plants invertebrates, amphibians, birds, and mammals across most of Earth's biomes. Right, so you can see that fluency happening. Uh, it comes with practice, it comes with listening to a lot of news, it comes with exposing yourself to how native speakers actually speak, right? Okay, because um, it, it might not come naturally to you, so please work at it, that's really important. Okay, so let's do this one more time, and we will focus on the scoring points this time. Okay, so again, let's let's kind of based on now what we have learned so far, let's just try to give it one more nice attempt, okay? And remember, your answer need not be perfect, but if you take care of these things, uh, definitely you will be reducing your errors and improving your points, right? So look out for the read aloud question type one, which is a very high scoring question type, which is your list question type. Advancing spring phenology constitutes one of the most well-studied and off-sided examples of ecological response to recent climatic warming. Examples of earlier onset of spring events span a broad array of life history traits and taxonomic groups, including plants, invertebrates, amphibians, birds, and mammals across most of Earth's biomes. Right? Do you get it? Yeah. Now you understand why the flow is like that, right? Or, uh, you know, I mean, the scoring system is built to reward those who speak like this, right? So speaking like a news anchor is really important, being very, uh, you know, clear and precise, having that fluent rate of speech, having the correct pronunciation, specifically on the academic words, because remember the test is called PTE academic, right? So that means that they will use a lot of vocabulary, which is academic and they will test your pronunciation, your, you know, I mean, in read aloud, they don't, they are not really going to, uh, you know, expect you to know what it means, but they will use, uh, they might use words which are unfamiliar, which are difficult looking. So make sure that you are aware of all these repeating words and concepts and you do well on your test. If you'd like to receive uh, more latest updates and lessons from Veracity PDE, you can definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. We have a subscribers discount uh, going on for all our courses. So definitely if you have subscribed, uh, that is something that you can avail. And also we keep putting out latest test papers, solved questions, as well as updates. Uh, please make sure that you do not miss any of that. You can enable the notifications for the Veracity PDE YouTube channel. Uh, you can also check out our uh, new website and you can, you know, get the details there if, if you want to. Uh, but please make sure that you are aware of all the latest, um, you know, changes because the test has changed. Um, and of course, uh, if you are planning to take PDE to migrate to Australia, I'm sure that you know, I mean, this is just like an additional thing that I'm, I'm saying, but I'm sure that you know the website has been upgraded, uh, home affairs, right, instead of borders.gov, and there are some changes there. So please make sure that you have all the information and you are up to date. That's our only intention to, um, you know, help you and guide you in the best possible way, right? So please don't miss out on that. And all the best and good luck. And I will see you in the next lesson.